In this video, I'll be giving you a quick tip on how to animate bone hands on your character in Cartoon Animator. Hi, I'm David Arundel, otherwise known as the Extraordinary Tourist and sometimes known as the Lazy Animator. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate a quick tip on how you can animate bone hands on your character in Cartoon Animator. Now, just to give you a bit of background, you may have noticed a lot of developers in the marketplace are including bone hands instead of sprite hands on their Cartoon Animator characters. And while bone hands offer a lot more flexibility in how you can animate them, you may have also noticed that a lot of the predefined motions don't actually include any animation for bone hands, they're all set up for sprite hands. So in this video I'm going to demonstrate a quick way that you can add those animations back into your character's bone hands and get your character's looking a little more natural again. So let's get right into it. Here we are in Cartoon Animator and on the screen here I have my new vector character Rachel who has bone hands and I'm sure you've probably been in this situation before where you've put a character on the stage and you've gone to use one of the predefined animations. I'm going to use this complain motion here. Just select the character, add the motion to her and I'm sure you've seen this error here. The motion file contains sprite hand animation data. It will not perform hand animations on a bone hand character. And you're thinking sort of, what? I thought these bone hands were supposed to be really good and better than sprite hands and I'm going to have to animate them myself. So this tip is sort of, or demonstration, is a way to show you how to get around this and to sort of get these animations back. So obviously we have to go OK to this and the motion's applied. There we go, you can see as you watch the hands there, they're just staying in the same position, not really doing anything at all. And maybe what you might have done in the past is just gone into the 2D motion key editor like this, gone into the hand menu and just chosen this particular pose perhaps for both hands. You've got both hands set up. Just click on this. There it is. The hands are sort of at the sides natural and we'll just leave it like that the whole animation and you'll see if I play that through go back to the start play it through see it kind of it looks a bit better than the hands being flat but maybe that's all that you'll do go back to the start and I'm going to undo that and back to these hands so the good news about that error message is that it means that that motion has right hand information in it uh, that we can actually copy so what you could do in order to get those things back is load in a character that does have sprite hands is what i'm going to do now go into the packs and i'm going to choose a particular pack I'm going to go with this character campus hero pack get one of the characters out of here in fact, i'm going to go for the front facing nikki character we'll add her to the stage and we'll just move her over here. And Nikki is also a vector character, but she's got sprite hands. Make her a little bigger. And so what you can do for this tip is put one of these characters on the stage temporarily and align the motions up. So I've got, I applied that animation from the start of the timeline. So we'll keep the playhead at the start of the timeline and we'll go back and apply the same motion to her that I applied to my character. So we'll get out of pack, go to the animation menu item and we'll get this complain motion and apply it to Nikki. So we just double click. And you'll see as you watch Nikki that her hands are actually changing positions throughout that movement. See this motion is quite bouncy because it's one of the um, motions that also has FFD or full form deformations uh, overlaid onto it to give it a bit more life. But anyway, if we go back to the start and just going to have the two characters timelines open. And if we scrub through uh, the motion track for Nikki. If you just watch her hands, you'll see if, as I go through, the hands stay in the same position, and then round about there, see her hands are flipped. Both of them are flipped to the same position. 
keep going. And as she goes, fold her hands. Again, flip just there. Do the arms cross. And then here we've got her arm going out and her left arm or left hand flips over with the palm up. Moving across, you see both hands turn over back to that palm down position. And if I scrub over to the end, get to the end of this motion, go back to her sides. And obviously what she's doing with her hands looks a lot better than what my character's doing because the hands aren't animated. So all we're going to do is copy those key poses over to my character using the bone hand key editor. So we'll go back to the start, flip over to my character and open up the 2D motion key editor here and I'm going to turn the bones off because we don't really need to see them. We just click this button here and where it's got show bones we can just turn them off, close that up. And then we click this button here for the bone editor to animate her hands. And you'll see we've got all these positions that we can or template positions that we can use. It's actually called the hand pose editor. So we're going to move this out of the way here. We don't need that. Working with this, try and position this so it doesn't cover over Nikki's hands too much so I can see what's going on. So obviously my character's hands aren't in the, a good starting position. We want this position so we make sure both hands uh, is selected for what it's going to apply to and this is the position we want so we just click on it. You'll find this hand position under the third option of which way the hands are facing. So this is up flip, that one's called down, that one's called up, and that one's called down flip. We just click on that once and you see both hands are now changed to this position. Uh, we don't have to flip over to Nikki's character because uh, her motion is exactly aligned with what our character's doing. So we just scrub through, watch Nikki and watch her hands and when we see them change, which is there, go to that frame, it's both hands have changed and in this case it's the same position but it's flipped up instead of flip down I think it might be this one first position and it's actually as I said the same hand so we just click on that particular hand now my character's hands are facing up and you can tell they're facing up because of the hand sort of lifeline right here it's the only thing on my character that shows it is a clear indication that the hands are palm up uh, but on Nikki she's got you can see the outline of all her fingers as well as this palm line hand there. We just keep doing that go to the next frame grub through and watch Nikki's hands waiting to see if it, there are any changes still no changes and right about there they flip so the palms are down again and it's a slightly different hand position here it's sort of wide fingers and whatever so go back to this one and it's not really this hand position although we could use that we'll try looking in one of these like the open hand position that's palm down but it's showing too much of a thumb whereas this one we did pat a here hard to see on my character but i think the thumb is sticking out too much compared to here we go with this one the hands turned a bit more and the thumb is sort of in a bit more so we go with that and we just keep going keep watching nikki's hands see what they're doing and you'll see if i wanted to i could actually lift her hand up a bit so it's more on the sleeve there but i won't do that now since we're just focusing on this hand demonstration but watching nikki's hands see still the same hand hasn't changed and there the left hand changes but the right hand stays in the same position we'll get to the point there where it changed now we'll switch the hand pose editor to just the left hand and we'll look for a pose that looks pretty much like that with the palms up pretty much going to be one of these natural poses those it's actually that one so I just click on that for the left hand you'll see that just changes her left hand the right hand staying the same so we can keep moving and as you saw there her left hand flipped over Nikki's left hand so we'll get that happening I think it's pretty much just flipping straight over into this one again it's the same position but on the back of the hand left hand still selected so I can just go click and there we go I'm going to scrub 
the timeline up a bit just so we can catch the end of this motion. And you'll see her right hand flipped over there. So now I'm going to switch this to right hand. And it, again, it's the same sort of position as the left hand. So we just click on that. Now my character's right hand has flipped over. And we just watch her to the end of the motion. And you see on the end of the clip, uh, my character's hands have flipped over. We don't want that. So we'll put it back on both hands and just apply this caress motion again, get the hands in position. And that's completely the end of the motion. So if we play that back now, you'll see that my character mimics pretty much what Nikki's doing. So do that as a demonstration. And there you go. So that's a really quick way that you can get some of these poses back. So now you just Close up the hand editor, turn off that, select the character that you're using as a guide, hit delete, and play the character through. You can see now we've got some pretty reasonable hand animations. It's not perfect doing it that way, but it looks a lot better than what you had to start with, and it's an easy way to uh, animate the hands without too much thought. You could go through and do a bit more to perfect that animation so it's not so much uh, looking completely like sprite hands flipping all the time but if you just want a fast way to get the hand data back and getting your character looking a little bit more natural and lifelike that's the way to do it have you ever had this issue before where the bone hands of your character go underneath or behind the face sprite on the character and nothing you do can get them back in front so just to illustrate this point see if I move the hands on this character there you'll see both of her hands have gone behind the head of the character and you think to yourself at this point obviously all I need to do is select the character open up the layers menu and I get the right hand bring it to the front of the face and nothing. Try the left hand, bring it to the front of the face and the hand itself has gone to the front but if we go a couple more frames uh, the fingers are still behind the head. So the way to solve this issue is actually because it, within the layering of the character the head is actually the top layer. So what you need to do is go into the composer and just ignore this message and open up the layer tab in here and you see in this on this character my talking head or 360 head here is the topmost layer and the hands are below that the way to fix the problem is simply to click and drag head in this list and drag it down you see there's a red line coming up between positions when you see that red line that's somewhere where you can release the mouse and drop it so I want to get it below both of the hands but in front of the hip you see I can do that I've done that now and now if I go back to the stage and if we move through with the hands see here the hands and fingers are now in front of the face as they're supposed to be if you come up with it against that problem where you've got your hands going behind the head and no amount of adjusting the layers on the stage in stage mode will fix the problem uh, you just need to go into the composer and actually and adjust the layering of the 360 head in the composer so that it's behind your hands but in front of the hip so i hope that helped with a problem that I know I've bumped up against and wasn't sure how to fix till I discovered this particular solution. So I hope you found that tip useful in animating bone hands. It's more useful if you tend to use a lot of the pre-made motions that have sprite data. You can of course keyframe the hands yourself completely from scratch and you could do that in a similar way just by changing the hands at key points throughout the animation. It's not particularly that hard to do but I'll leave that there for now. This character that of mine, Rachel, that I demonstrated on is available to buy in the market Real Illusion marketplace if that's something you're interested in and I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.